when you're sweating as much as we are, when you're in the yard mowing the grass as much as we are, you want to get a drink from our sponsor, Game Up Hard Hydration. We've been talking about them since the wintertime. It is the summer. Throw game up on ice. Dave, hit them with the details. We got fruit punch. We got orange. We got lemon lime. We got grape. And guys, it's only 110 calories. It's low carb. You can't go wrong. And they sponsor us. So let's do this shit, huh? Get some game up. <laughs> 100% money in the bank. Five oh, matches. <laughs> so they announced the Cena retirement. Right. And before we get into the show, what do you think about the way that Cena laid out his retirement? Well, it's a little confusing at first because I thought WrestleMania was going to be his last match. But apparently he's just saying it's his last WrestleMania and he's basically going to be going on a retirement tour next year. He's hoping to work 20 to 30 dates and spread it out throughout the whole year, I think. You know, I didn't see it coming. So I thought it was kind of cool that it made Money in the Bank a little more special because it was something, you know, impactful that was going to be on there. Yeah, I mean, that was about it. Bummed to see him go, but I mean, it, it, it is time. You know what I mean? And so it is kind of cool, I think, that almost like a legendary rock band he's going out on a tour right it's weird because i saw it coming at some point i didn't know it was going to happen now it's really a cool way to do it because you're letting everybody know that your career is coming to an end but you're also giving enough people a chance to see you you're giving people a chance to see you in the different wwe events could he be in like a war games could he be like that last survivor series for him He's going to be in a rumble. I don't think he'd win another rumble, but he's going to be in these things. So you have these things to look forward to. And he's had a big wrestling career, but we've yeah. seen that the movies has become a little more of a career for him. Sure. sure. Now yeah. getting to the money in the bank event, I was surprised by Drew McIntyre winning the briefcase. Yeah. I didn't realize he was in the match until like they introduced him and I'm like, all right. And then I'm very surprised when he got it instead of Jay. Even more surprised when he cashed in on the same show. I was surprised he won it. Once he won it, I felt like I knew the story. I was like, oh, he's going to try to cash in on this and Punk's going to cost him. I didn't necessarily know we would get it that night. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay. I'm like, this has now become a thing where Punk's going to keep costing him and we're pushing this story, which I didn't mind. Some people I know, especially a lot of hardcore Drew McIntyre fans, I think they were upset. Because they don't probably like this story because he does keep getting screwed over. But I find it interesting and I find it compelling because what I like, and I've heard people talk about this too, is that like they've really done a fantastic job of keeping this CM Punk Drew McIntyre feud going despite the fu despite the fact that Punk has not been cleared to wrestle yet. And it's like it's been one of the hottest programs. So by the time you get to hopefully by SummerSlam, hopefully you can wrestle, you have yourself a big match that you've built anticipation to where you haven't had even one match, but they've had already like a big showdown at WrestleMania. There was a rumble interaction where he got hurt initially in the next night. And then this thing with money in the bank, you know, it's just, so there's a lot here. I ended up enjoying this quite a bit, actually. Yeah. I like that. They they're keeping heat on the feud. Where are you with him uh, cashing in so quick? Because that was some people's complaints that he yes. wins and cash. It was in. a waste of a, a cash in. And I can see that. But I guess at the end of the day, if these guys don't have plans to bring up somebody to have them get the championship yet, then maybe it, it's just what you did. Right. Because what good does it do a Jay Uso or a Carmelo Hayes if you don't have a plan for them yet? Right. And then they flounder. Yeah. The one thing I was saying is like the money in the bank is usually a good device over the course of the WWE year mm -hmm. where it's like you could tease those cash ins. But at the same point, enough storyline came out of this one cash in. Mm -hmm. There's like two, three feuds that have happened with it that mm -hmm. it gives enough interesting stuff is happening that. Like, I, I don't have a problem with it because it's making so much story happen. Yeah. And I mean, you got Gunther getting ready to challenge Priest at SummerSlam for the title. And they're going to Germany, too. So there's a lot of interesting things that are going to be surrounding Gunther. You're having new people in this championship picture. You know, so, I mean, people are being elevated. It's just that we didn't have another person you know, elevated. And I think people like to see that. They like to see who the next guy or girl is going to be, which we did get with the women. We got I was about to say, speaking of elevated and 
uh, a cash in that didn't happen right away. Tiffany Stratton got that briefcase. And since we saw her in Bridgeport in December, it's like her stock on the main roster has just her stock in WWE fans eyes has gotten so big that it's like, it really was the best pick. And it's like, what title is she going to go for? Yeah. I have really, she has elevated her game a lot. I mean, she's really just a great athletic presence, but then she's also got her character really, really well done right now. She's an attractive woman, athletic, great on the mic. I just think she's going to be money all over at this point. And she's a heel. How long before she's a baby face? I don't know. I just, I guess she's getting a lot of cheers already because she has a very exciting style in the ring. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I like, I like Tiffany Stratton. I like that they put the briefcase on her. The only thing I really, which is kind of funny because I'm a fan of Sami Zayn, but I thought Braun Breaker should have got the title. The more like they actually wrestled and had that match, I was just, I don't even remember what I thought going in initially, but in that match, I thought, eh, I would have liked to seen Braun walk out of this with the gold. Yeah. I was very surprised he didn't. I'm hoping that something comes out of that. I've got to catch up on Raw because I know there was more with that. Gable, the Wyatt Six, 